Gdansk, Poland at DID and he take long for Darren Till to cool off on the idea of a fight with Mike Perry. Although the Red Hot Prospect did everything but sign a bad agreement in the moments after stopping Donald Cerrone, 32-10 MMA, 19-7 UFC, at UFC Fight Night 118, Till, 1601 MMA, 401 UFC shrugged his shoulders at the potential booking when asked about it during the post-fight press conference. IDID and T call him out, Till said of Perry after his first-round knockout at Ergo Arena, which hosted Saturday night's UFC Fight Pass streamed event. Perry said Cowboy was going to beat me on Twitter, and I said he wouldn't. I was, in my mind, going to call out Mike Perry but he got the fight booked with Santiago Ponzinibbio, who I want to fight as well. So I don't really care about Perry. Now, the fight can happen if he beats Santiago, which I don't think he will do. And then we can get it on. But he has a fight right now. So I don't really care. Perry might care a little more. After jawing with Till Cage side, he happily targeted Till as his next victim after the deck. 16 fight with Ponzini Bio at UFC on Fox 26 in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. I look forward to it, but I got work to do first with Santiago Ponzini Bio in Winnipeg, Canada, Perry told UFC commentators Dan Hardy and John Gooden. I can't wait to do it. I look forward to skyrocketing myself off this kid's undefeated record. I'm ready to take that zero from that boy. He went fishing for base. And he caught a shark. Be careful what you wish for. If it does happen. However, the two agree the location should be Till's backyard in England. Till wants the UFC to come to his hometown of Liverpool to set a new record for decibels inside the arena. But apparently, he's not going to get too worked up about it. A one-month break is his immediate plan unless the promotion comes calling for a big end of year. Opportunity. I'd fight every weekend if I could. Till told me junkie. I used to fight every two weeks. But right now, it's different. You have to be smart. My manager said he doesn't want me to fight again this year. He said he wants me to have one month off. Maybe he'll have one month off. Get blathered a few times. And we'll see what the new year brings. But if the UFC says they'll give me a fight in December, I think he'll beg my coaches to take it. In the meantime, Till won't follow in the footsteps of other contenders who called for a title shot immediately. After a huge win, although Cerrone put a huge feather in his cap and undoubtedly will bump him up the rankings, Till said he'll patiently work his way to the top of the division. There is so many more guys in front of me, said Till who's currently unranked in the USA Today Sports, Majunkie MMA welterweight rankings. While Cerrone is no. 10. They need the shot first. And then when I get my shot, it'll just take the champion out. But I'm certainly closer. It'll ask for the title shot when I take the no. 2 guy out. That guy should be a lot closer following his one-sided beatdown of Cerrone. Till kept telling the world to be ready for a shock but it might not have taken notice until Saturday night. Now he's really got everyone's attention. It's only what I've visualized every day since my last fight. Every day in the gym. Just seeing not even cowboy fall, but just a body fall in front of me. Till said, and it happened. Although many questioned whether he was ready for an opponent like Cerrone. Till said he never doubted himself. I never took disrespect. But when people see me in the flesh and see how I carry myself, they see it's not fake. Till said, I'm not a fake confidence. I just totally believe in myself. When he walked into the cage, he could feel that air of confidence from me. And I already knew I had. Cerrone, for complete coverage of UFC Fight Night 118. Check out the UFC events section of the site.